What's up poor people? Rex here, doing nothing. So I thought, why not paint this blue yeti into something that I like? First, you want to remove the two screws located in the bottom and the third located underneath the rubber grommet in the mount. They should come off pretty easily. The next thing you want to do is remove the knobs. I am going to use a pair of pliers and a paper towel so I don't scratch it. After you remove the knobs, the insert should come off pretty easily. I put a piece of Teflon tape around it so the top doesn't move and make noise. There is a piece of foam inside, you want to remove that. I already removed the blue Yeti logo. Poke it with a screwdriver. Don't worry about the scratches you have on the body because you are going to paint on top of it anyway. Now there are 80 screws around the board, you want to unscrew them and take the boards off. You want to disconnect the three wires that goes to the microphones. You don't have to worry about mismatching them, they are already marked. Then remove the 4 screws connecting the mesh and the stand. Now the whole assembly should come apart. Don't forget to remove the foam inside. I am not going to sand it because you can't really sand the whole thing properly, especially the mesh. What I am going to do is put it in an acid bath. You can pretty much use any kind of household acid. Uh, you can use uh, lemon juice, vinegar or toilet cleaner works the best. There are three more screws underneath the stand. I do not intend to paint the base plate. So the acid bath will create microscopic pores on the body. So the paint will adhere easily. So the parts has been dipped in acid, washed thoroughly, bone dried, then cleaned with acetone to remove any leftover grease. I am using this automotive grade spray paint. You can find them in your local hardware store and they are very cheap. I am using this paper towel stand as a stand and a couple of wood screws to move the body parts around. I put a nut and bolt through the mounting hole of the microphone stand so it's easy to hold and move around. Before you paint anything you should always do a test paint and after each coat you should turn the can upside down and spray until the gas comes out. This should prevent from clogging the nozzle. You should do 5 to 8 light coats and wait 5 minutes between each coat. You don't want to paint too much at once or else you will get paint drops. The duration of acid bath depends on the concentration. For any household acid water solution it can be left for overnight. After the acid bath, you have to wash it with some kind of base to stop the reaction. I used dishwasher. Next, wash it well with clean water. It's 
the next morning I had too much coffee and the paint has dried, but that doesn't mean it's cured. You have to wait around a month for it. Just put everything back the way it was and it should work just fine. Always wear mask when working with spray paint and make sure your workspace is well ventilated but not outside, that will introduce too much dust. Mm -hmm. 